All right, now guys, for this step, we have our uh, T20 Torx, and um, if you've already ordered this, then you have your new pressure switch in hand. Um, once again, the reason we're doing this is because we keep getting an F09 error, and that normally means that either the pump is not working correctly, whereas if you've seen my other videos, you know that it's brand new, or um, a line is clogged. Well, we know the line isn't clogged because we vacuum the lines out when we change the pump. So if we continue to have this error, it means that we need a new pressure switch, and I believe this was about $30 on eBay. Um, I don't know if the part number on here is accurate, so I won't give that to you now. But um, basically all we need to do is there are three screws across the top in the back. One here, one in the center, and one on the other side. Okay, once we have these screws out, we can take the lid, push it toward the back of the machine, and it simply lifts off. Now immediately you will see the old pressure switch. It's right here. It has one connector. It has two tabs on it. You must press both in order to get the, the uh, connector out of the switch. So we're going to press both in. And there's our connectors off. Now I'm going to use a small uh, slotted screwdriver because there is a uh, plastic clip. As you can see here, there are two little tabs and this fits into a square hole in the side of the machine here. So we need to press in those clips in order to dismount the switch. So I'm going to use my little screwdriver, press in one side, press in the other side. And we just work it a little bit. Sometimes that one side will pop out and the other one won't want to. You just have to give it a little bit of coaxing. And there's our switch. Now mind you, there's a hose attached to the bottom, so don't drop it down there. Hose will just pull off if you twist and pull. Don't let our new our new uh, pressure switch slide the hose all the way on and then we'll simply click it back in the hole the same way it came out we'll take our wires remember the little pull tabs the little press tabs here that lock it into place go on the bottom so if you're having problems inserting your connector always check your alignment and you simply click it back in place and now your switch is replaced and if you were having that error that should go away now and then to replace the lid, it's obviously the opposite. So we're going to set it right down on here, pull it back into place, and replace our three screws. Um, as you can see, this is literally a five minute job. And uh, if you're getting that F09 error, instead of calling the repairman, suck out your, your drain line with your shop vac to make sure there's no obstructions. And if you're still getting the error, go ahead and replace that uh, pressure switch. And I'll save you probably a $300 visit from the uh, wash machine repairman. So uh, if you have any questions for me, please feel free to uh, send, me an, uh, send me an email. And once again, if you like this video, then uh, go ahead and click like down there for me. And I'll see you all next time.